Good morning and welcome back to another Rush Gang fishing episode. Something a little different this morning. Going drone fishing. There we go. First bait is heading out. Out she goes. Hopefully he dropped that straight onto a big old snapper. <laughs> well, as you just seen, first bait's out in the water. I'm down the beach this morning with Mark from Maxed Out Fishing. So if you're into land-based fishing, make sure you jump over and check his channel out. He's got plenty of content. But yeah, the plan this morning is to catch something big. Mark's just dropped a fresh whiting out for me. We're fishing about 200 metres out. Running the 10,000 Saragossa. Ideally, a big old snapper, but I'm happy with absolutely anything this morning. Out goes Mark's bait. That's so cool, man. There we go, look. Oh, look, is that the bit of reef we're dropping off, or is it we... It's just dropping right in front of that Right though. in front of that reef there. Shit, I better go catch my rod. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. You can actually, like, pinpoint where you want your bait to drop. Drop a waypoint, man, if she just races out and drops it right there. So there's a bit of reef out in front of us. We're dropping just on the sand, just on this side of the reef, so... We're in the zone. We've got every chance in the world this morning. I'm running fresh whiting. He's got chunks of mullet on his. Pretty relaxing start to the day. The baits are out there. I'm just chilling back in my chair. All I want to see is that rod just bend. Quite good looking ground around here. Like, as I showed you before on the um, drone there, there's a big reef line running across there and we're dropping our baits just onto the sand in front of that. So hopefully there's a snapper or something hanging around the reef there and they come off and yeah, smash our bait. I've got faith in my fresh whiting. Still on? Mark's rod just got whacked. My whiting's been out for half an hour now, so we're just going to check the bait. I didn't see any bites on it, but I don't want to fish all morning with no bait either, because that ain't going to do very well. It's just under 200 metres out, so it's going to take a little bit to bring her in. Oh, untouched, I think, the bait. I'll just leave that one on. Alright, second bait's about to head out. No hits on the first one. I've just dunked my whiting in a bit of tuna oil. Looking filthy, so hopefully it gets hit hooking the rig to the bottom of the drone there it goes up to my swivel baits there sinkers about two meters back that way 250 meter drop this one so let's go <laughs> out she goes 250 meter is I don't know if you can see the drone way out there, but she's a pretty big drop, this one. Oh. Bro, drone rod just got a hit. Oh, 
Man, it's a long way out. Yeah, I've definitely got a fish on here. I thought it was a snag. Still putting in a little fight. Oh, yeah, a bit more now he's seen the beach. Might be a snapper, eh? Oh, it is a snapper. There you go, first fish of the morning. Little pinky. Beautiful little snapper. Chasing its mum though, so let's get this one back. Drop another bait out. That's pretty cool though, the fresh white and getting it done. Let's get this little guy back. Just running down the beach we've just seen something floating in the water it looks like a drone I actually think it's a really big drone what is that it's a drone holy crap Check it out! There's no way we just found a drone. <laughs> it's not the one we're using either. What? Oh, it's one of those cooter copters. Oh, it's been out there for a while too. Clearly this is a drone fishing spot. Look at the barnacles and that on it. Oh, someone must be so devastated. Oh, put it out there. If anyone's lost a cooter copter in the northern suburbs, hit me up if you want it back. I'm stoked I caught that snapper. Mark's just sending my next bait out now, but yeah spotting this out of it i can only assume it's buggered now i can't recall if these are like the full waterproof drones and that but i'm assuming after being in the water that long should be buggered regardless i can't believe that the first time i head out drone fishing and we find a bloody drone i know these things are damn expensive too Cootercopter. Up she goes. This will possibly be the last drop. Just absolutely bucketed down the brain just then, so hopefully it brought a snapper in with it. There she goes. Well, that's it for the morning. Certainly didn't set the world on fire, but we had our fun. It was cool to get out and do something new, using the drone to drop baits. I'm pretty keen to tick off a big snapper off the drone, so I'll probably do this again. But yeah, today just wasn't our day. I'm on last last bait now, I'm gonna give it five more minutes and then we'll pack up and head home for breakfast. With snapper once the sun's up, the inshore stuff seems to shut down, so your chances of hooking up now are pretty well over. For this episode, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.